Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press. We've just witnessed the sentencing of Larry Ray, the famous Sarah Lawrence sex cultist, uh, to 60 years in prison by Judge Lewis Lyman of the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Now, three victims spoke, two in person and one by letter, um, at the sentencing. Uh, Claudia Drury, who had been prostituted forcibly by Larry Ray for quite a long time, wrote a letter about how her teeth rotted out, how she was binging, how she was suffocated with a bag. It was pretty, pretty nasty. Uh, Inner City Press actually published a, a booklet on this case, including about the uh, John, so-called John's List. You could look that up. But uh, Santos Rosario spoke um, about how he was degraded and debased, and so did Daniel Levin, who wrote a book about it. Um, his was, was, was uh, you know, he talked about having a, a garrote around his testicles, etc. The federal defenders took the position that the conditions in the MCC militated for only a 15-year sentence. Uh, the government was asking for life. Um, Judge Lyman, uh, in way, uh, Ray, Larry Ray himself, this is a key point, he did speak, as most defendants do. And in my experience, most defendants say, I made a mistake, et cetera, et cetera. In this case, Larry Ray expressed not a single iota of remorse. He only spoke about the conditions in prison and his uh, uh, father, stepfather, and stepmother all dying within a month of each other. Now, Marnie Lennox, the federal defender, said that he was not expressing remorse on advice of counsel. But even people that appeal express some remorse. There's a way to do it, and it's striking that not a single bit of remorse was expressed. Several of the victims said if he ever gets out, he's going to go after them. And in fact, that he probably will in prison, that he's a uniquely evil man. That's what really came from this, that this was a sophisticated and cruel, as Judge Lyman put it, he didn't take lives, but he tried to extinguish them. So rather than a life sentence, he said he wouldn't descend to Larry Ray's level. He imposed a sentence of 720 months or 60 years. Since he's 62 years old, it's a life sentence. He will appeal and we'll cover it. InnerCityPress.com to be continued.